The Spiria X is not a direct successor to the Z5, mind you, this is a burden the Spiria X performance will have to deal with. Instead, it ushers in Sony's new design language, which let's face it, does build upon the fundamentals of the old one. The Spiria X also introduces us to most of the flagship's hardware, while still letting it keep exclusivity on some features, IP68 certification and top-class chipset in particular. The Spiria X does get the top-spec camera of its bigger brother, or should we say wiser, as they're both 5 inches, that means 2 3MP maximum resolution, phase detection autofocus, and AF-2.0 aperture lens. What it misses out on is 4K video recording, which is inexplicably missing from the Spiria X performance spec sheet, too. 2 3MP main camera, but also a 1 3MP selfie shooter. The camera on the Sony Spiria X is a 2 3MP unit, and it captures images up to 5520 x 4140 pixels in a 4 colon 3 ratio. The lens has an aperture of f 2.0 and a field of view equivalent to a 24mm lens in 35mm film terms. All of the above sounds a lot like the setup of the Spiria Z5 and its two brethren. And it's only logical that Sony has taken its current top camera and refined it for the Spiria X, it doesn't seem very sound practice on any level for such complex hardware to have a single generation lifespan. We had an iPhone SIXS handy and shot a set of images for a quick comparison between the two. The Spiria has a wider field of view, the 24mm versus 29mm difference